She is known for her diverse talents in the entertainment industry, excelling as a singer, dancer, and choreographer. She is recognized for her iconic music video for the hit song, Mickey, which showcased her energetic dance moves and cheerleading background. Her name is Tony Basil. In the world of entertainment, there are certain individuals whose impact is simply unforgettable. One such figure is Tony Basil, a multi-talented artist who has left an indelible mark on the industry. Born as Antonia Cristina Basilata, Tony's passion for the performing arts was evident from a young age. Growing up in Las Vegas, Nevada, Tony was surrounded by music and dance. Her father led an orchestra, while her mother dazzled audiences with her performances in vaudeville. With Italian ancestry running through her veins, Tony was destined for greatness. As a young girl, Tony's vibrant spirit and infectious energy made her stand out. She attended Las Vegas High School, where she became a head cheerleader. It was during this time that she earned the nickname, Tony, and discovered her love for dance. Little did she know that her cheerleading experience would later shape her career in the most remarkable way. In fact, the iconic cheerleader uniform she wore in her famous music video for, Mickey, was the very same one she donned during her high school days. Tony's career milestones and achievements are nothing short of extraordinary. With her immense talent and magnetic stage presence, she quickly rose to prominence in the entertainment world. Her choreography and performance of, Mickey, became a global sensation, captivating audiences worldwide. The infectious energy of the song, combined with Tony's dynamic dance moves, made it an instant classic. It was a defining moment in her career, one that solidified her status as a trailblazer in the industry. Tony Basil's dance career took off when she became an assistant choreographer to David Winters and a dancer on the groundbreaking music variety show, Shindig. The show premiered on ABC in 1964 and showcased Basil's talent and passion for dance. In 1964, Basil's career soared even higher as she became a lead dancer in the beach party film, Pajama Party. She also had the opportunity to showcase her skills as a dancer in the iconic Elvis Presley movie, Viva Las Vegas. These roles cemented her reputation as a talented and versatile dancer. Basil's collaboration with choreographer David Winters continued to flourish in 1964 when she assisted him on Steve Binder's concert film, TMI Show. This film would later be recognized as culturally significant by the United States Library of Congress and selected for preservation in the National Film Registry in 2006. Throughout the 1960s, Basil's choreography work extended to film projects such as Village of the Giants, The Cool Ones, and The Monkeys film, Head. In Head, she even had an on-screen partnership with Davy Jones during the memorable, Daddy's Song, sequence. As the years went on, Basil's talent as a choreographer continued to shine. In 1968, she appeared in Princess Grace Kelly's television special, Monte Carlo, Say La Rose, accompanying lead dancer and choreographer David Winters. Her skills were highly regarded, as Winters stated that he chose her and fellow dancer Anita Mann because they were his best students. Basil's contributions to the entertainment industry were not limited to film and television. She collaborated with renowned musicians and bands, including choreographing and co-directing the music video for Talking Heads, Once in a Lifetime, in 1980. She also worked with David Bowie on his Diamond Dogs tour in 1974 and his Glass Spider tour in 1987, showcasing her ability to create captivating dance performances on stage. In addition to her choreography work, Basil made a significant impact as a founding member and manager of The Lockers, a street dance group that revolutionized the dance scene. The Lockers opened for Frank Sinatra at Carnegie Hall and Funkadelic at Radio City Music Hall. They also made numerous television appearances, including a memorable performance on the third episode of Saturday Night Live. Basil's influence on dance extended to merging ballet with street dance, as she choreographed a piece titled, Swan Lake, for Saturday Night Live in 1978. This innovative approach to dance earned her recognition as a pioneer in the field. In recent years, Basil's career has continued to flourish. At the age of 75, she choreographed Quentin Tarantino's film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and made an uncredited cameo appearance alongside Margot Robbie. Her trademark fedora and mesmerizing dance moves captivated audiences once again, showcasing her timeless talent. Tony Basil's dance career is a testament to her dedication, versatility, and passion for the art form. From her early days as a dancer on Shindig, to her groundbreaking choreography work and collaborations with renowned musicians, she has left an indelible mark on the world of dance and continues to inspire new generations of dancers. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.